your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. Well, it's been a really nice day once again, but we're tracking a cold front. Now, what this will do is one, bring another shot of nice, pleasant air, but there's a cold pocket of air upstairs in the atmosphere, and that causes these clouds to really grow and bubble up. And the cold pockets here, you can see the little cold upper low spinning in northern Minnesota. There's the cold front, but at the same time, very strong jet winds across this area. So notice the severe weather going on. Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, even a tornado warning right there. We've had a lot of large hail in this area. And it's only in the 70s to right around 80 degrees. The big question is, are we going to get in on any of this kind of severe weather? Well, the cold pocket and the really strong wind fields will tend to kind of bypass our area. I think it'll kind of do one of these. Nonetheless, I think as the front comes through, Tomorrow afternoon, evening, tomorrow night, there may be a couple of thunderstorms that put out a little small hail. Otherwise, it's just going to be garden variety, scattered showers, and storms for our area. But once we get the front through, ah, it's back to the nice weather. We may have a couple of showers that linger into Saturday morning. But after that, right up to about Tuesday next week looks good. But the front that went through will come back north as a warm front. That'll bring a few storms perhaps by Tuesday, and then the heat comes back in. Tonight, though, 68 at 9, already down to 64 at 11 o'clock. You'll notice an increase in the kind of high and mid-level clouds, down to 57, and then up to 60 by 7 a.m. and 75 by 11 a.m. tomorrow. So tonight, we're not going to be near the record low, 45. We'll be down to 60 tomorrow night, but as we get that other little cool down, notice uh, once we get to Sunday morning, we'll be down to 52. The record low is 51, and with 51 Monday, we'll be very close to the record low of 49. There are the lows tonight, mid to upper 50s, from 57 Lafayette to 58 at Covington, 57 Fowler to Oxford and Otterman, and 55 Monticello. Tomorrow, generally low 80s, see mid 80s down here towards Ladoga and Kingman with 85, 82 Lafayette, and 83 at Burlington and cooler Saturday. Once we get the front through, nice refreshing northwest winds, highs low 70s north to mid 70s at Lafayette, Frankfurt, as well as Linden and Romney. High res future cast. Notice some increasing high mid-level clouds tonight. That's 11 a.m. tomorrow, and this is around 1.30. Notice as we get into the afternoon and evening, a few spotty showers and thunderstorms will pass. That's 7 p.m. and tomorrow night. There's the front, some scattered showers and thunderstorms possible. Then we get the front out of here, and there may be a lingering shower on Saturday morning. Otherwise, it's just going to be a partly to mostly cloudy, kind of breezy and cooler day with a high of 76. 76 Sunday and 79 Monday, then the front moves back north as a warm front, and that usher is, uh, ushers in the much hotter weather, 86 Wednesday and back to 90 degrees by Thursday and the humidity will surge in as well. I was talking to a lot of people at the Tippecanoe County Fair last night and every one of them said, you know, uh, yeah, the heat can't be finished yet. I yeah. said, oh no, it's going to come back in full force. We still got all of August. Yeah, I ran into a native Hoosier who spent the last 20 years in North Carolina and just moved back here and yeah. she wants it to warm back up. She's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, July, you expect a lot hotter than this. Yeah. yeah. All right, thanks, Chad. Sure. Thanks, Chad. We're talking pretty